Yeah, and divorce me. That's the rules. I never get. She's got a nipper of mine eleven, another one for three, and I'll never give her a reason not to love me. That's the rules. She slung a lot in with me, yeah. She slung it like. Why do they say women and children first when there's a boat sinking? Because they're not built to survive. She slung a lot in with me because I'm a survivor. Dead right. We're okay. We're married, and that's it. She's mine. She can't fucking divorce me. You don't have to have an opinion. You have his opinion. Who's, who's the best jockey? Who's the best footballer? Who's the... He knows, so you don't argue. I'm a wonderful citizen. How do you think I've got this house and where I'm living now if I wasn't? They've given me this council. We've got the best... This is the best little city on, on earth. How do I know? I've been everywhere else. I'm here now, right on the family patch. Yeah, I know where it is. I've been, I've been. Nobody can tell me anything. I don't read Daily Mirror and so on. I go and have a look. I go and have a look and I've been. I've lived in the forests of North America. I've lived in the out back of the Ivory Coast. I've lived in India and Russia. I, I had my breakfast in Moscow and my, uh, my tea in Wood Street, Nick. Yeah, I've been about a bit. I'm the only man in the history of mankind that has swum across the Straits of Johor. I had to avoid a police launch it either that or Changi Nick. They've got me to sit passport in Singapore. Yeah, I swam it. I know about sharks. Punch him right in the fucking ear hole and they swim off. So what you got to say about it then? Yeah. Well, then, would you say it was? If it didn't you, are they, Ian? No. Well, then, would you say? Who would you blame? Apple. You've got to blame our Paul. Or would you say he denies it? It was that, didn't Of course you would. One of your evil bastards is blaming the other when you know full well it's not him. I'm going to tell you this, you better start remembering what you're doing and when I ask you a question, I want an answer. I don't want none of that vacant lot. I'll beat your fucking... You don't know how close you are, you to a good hiding. A proper good hiding. Don't clip round fucking head, huh? You're winding me up. Anyway, both of you piss off. Go and get out. You drive me up the wall. You, you sicken me, the pair of you. They're both liars and he just smirks and grins and everything. You have to beat him up. When anybody in authority has challenged him or anything, he's hit them. Can't take away from the fact that he's a big fella. He would alter. Uh, then the next thing you know is hit somebody else and he's, he's back again. And he'd go out and meet up with his old cronies. Well, things don't look good. Hi! Hey guys, what's up? She's mine! Ooh! She's mine! Excuse me, it's ma'am! She's mine! Stop calling me a man! This gentleman, it's not what she's doing! She's mine! Ooh! Motherfucker! Hello, sir. Wait, what? Did you call me a sir? This is transphobic harassment! Oh You're a f Bigot! Oh my uh, we're, all right, it's a slur. Do you not understand? Well, if you, it's like if you call the person a color the N word. Don't. Oh, you you did on the way out. I don't care. I have the right to be pissed about it. Excuse me, it's ma'am. This transition has been harder on me than anything I could imagine. It is the most difficult thing you can do. The entire discussion is whether we are embracing mental illness and delusion as a society. That's the entire discussion. How you feel on the inside is relevant. You don't know what you're talking about. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. It's like every single day, you guys. Everywhere I go, I get called sir. Cis <laughs> people need to be held accountable for how they treat trans people. And I'm not gonna put up with this shit anymore. <laughs> this is transphobia. 